Good morning, children. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy at your home. Today we come to the end of the chapter with the last topic that is plastics and the environment. What is the relation between plastic and environment that we will discuss today? In our daily life, without plastic, we could not able to move a step forward also. For eating uh, food, we want to wrap the food. For taking the food, we want the plastic containers. We want to take water, water in bottles. That bottle is also made of, of plastic. Each and everything, whatever you are going through with your daily life, in every part of your life, you require plastics. So the major problem which we come is disposal of plastic is a major problem. Why? The question arises, why disposal of plastic is a major problem? The major problem is that plastics are the waste which becomes under the category of non-biodegradable waste. So there are two types of waste, biodegradable materials which gets decomposed through natural process easily you can break down that is leftover food that is the food items the vegetable peels the fruit peels those comes under the category of biodegradable waste easily the bacteria act on them and they can break down into pieces and they again mix with the soil the next category comes as non-biodegradable waste and plastic comes under the category of non-biodegradable waste. What is non-biodegradable waste? Waste or the material which do not get decomposed easily. So here arises the question that this is the major problem. How if it is not easily decomposed, what is the effect on environment? Plastic requires several years. This is a general part, children, which I am talking about. Plastic requires several years to decompose. Basically, if it decomposes also, it will be not broken down into pieces. So we consider plastic as environment. It is not an environment friendly. So the word is it is not environment friendly. So if it is not environment friendly, what is the conclusion we come over? That plastic causes environmental pollution. Beside that, how it affect the environment? What is the condition for this pollution? When you burn, the process of burning plastic is quite slow. And when it is quite slow, we consider that it does not completely burn easily. Means burning process is slow. And secondly, it is not completely burned. First step. Second, if it is burned also, it releases a lot of poisonous fume. That is toxic gases. Now children, if I know these are the problems which we are facing in environment, what are the steps which we have to take to stop pollution, to stop environmental pollution and save our nature? Let's see that. So here children, how can this problem be solved? Which I told you that what are the steps which you will take to sort out the environmental pollution? What? We can do. Avoid the use of plastic as far as possible. Wherever you think that plastic can be avoided, avoid it. Or wherever you think it can be recycled again and again, go for that. Make use of jute bags and paper bags for shopping. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. From your home only you start. There are two bins which has been rectified. One is blue color, one is green color. Blue color bins are rectified for the non-biodegradable waste and the green color has been rectified for biodegradable waste. So they should be collected separately and they should be disposed of separately. So again, it will be easy for uh, us as well as it will not support environmental pollution. 
it is better to recycle plastic waste wherever you find that it can be recycled go for there and most of the recyclable plastics are the thermoplastics as a responsible citizen remember always the always the five r principle the five r principles are reduce reuse all are all related to waste children so reduce the waste reuse the waste recycle wherever possible recover the new things from the waste and refuse where you have to refuse no we will not re, re, we will not again use the plastic things so refuse recover recycle reuse and reduce children these things are only for the discussion part you don't have to write anything in the classwork copy what you have to write i am sending with an attachment that only you have to write in your book next class i'll be giving you the exercise question answers which you have to copy down in your chemistry classwork copy thank you have a nice day